Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Justin, KQ4 CIA, Black Bears Radio. I just thought I'd give you a little update. Uh, activated a part this morning, shot a video on my ICOM 706. Holy crap, finally got that one done. Um, but I wanted to let you know, I put another antenna in there. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's up there somewhere. I don't know. But I wanted to show it to you. Uh, it's a 160 meter antenna. And stick with me, we'll get to it. All right, there's the tree. There is my 80 through six half wave in fed made by myantenna.com. Uh, that is the 7510 uh, rated for two kilowatts. Go on the top of that tree, from the top of that tree. Uh, average height is probably 32 feet. My 160 is here. I made it all. Um, it's my first antenna project. Sorry I didn't bring y'all along for the make. All I have left to do is to get a bonding strap to my ground rod to the 259. And then on this screw, I'm going to run a bunch of radials through the flower bed and out. Oh, I'm pointing behind the camera. You can't see my finger. But I'm going to run radials going this way through the yard fanning out i'm gonna probably bury them under the soil kind of shallow uh, i've read that that'll work um but it's 259 i got this coax it's dx command not coax i got this antenna wire it's dx commander uh, i want to say i got it from dx engineering uh, dot com i got a spool of it for whatever price it was i don't know Oh no, this came from Ham Radio Outlet because I had a gift card from Christmas. Um, a cutting board that I've used to make other insulators, as you can tell by the missing chunks. Uh, drilled some holes in it, wrapped it around it to keep tension on the wire. Doing pretty well. And then I currently just have it zip tied down. Um, it is touching, that way hopefully it's cre creating the ground circuit for the counterpoise for the wire. My coax is running right now, just haphazardly laid out this way and into the shack. That's where my shack is. Um, that is my other coax going to the other antenna. I'm going to run the new wire this way off the switch. I was just trying to get it tuned and get everything right. Last night there was a bunch of solar flares and crashes, so I don't want to do anything yet too crazy. But... You can see the antenna coming out of the top of the tree there and stretching all the way back to that tree. So we'll go out back there and check it out. I got it pulled pretty tight right now. There's one of my portable masks. That's a 20 foot extendable flagpole from Amazon. I got it for I don't know, like 20 bucks or something. It does pretty good. That and a five gallon bucket of, of uh, cement. And I can just throw it in the truck. That gives me two masks. I like the spider beam better. So straight up right there, I'll zoom in. Oh gosh, my hand messed it up, I'm sorry. So you can see the insulator is in the middle and the antenna is going off to the right in the picture and to the left is the rope going to that tree and it's going in right there which is about 50 feet in the air and then i have the rope coming down the tree It's camo cordage. And I'm gonna get a boat cleat. I actually think I have a spare boat cleat. Uh, but right now I just have it tensioned off to my fence. Um, it's pretty tight. You see it going up way up there, but... Uh, sorry, that was probably Blair Witch-ish. But I don't like, I'm pulling on it now. And I might have gotten an extra three inches of sag out of it. And I don't think it's worth risking the extra tension on it. So this is what it looks like from the backyard. You can 
see it going over that treetop. Uh, I cut it at 140 feet and it stops. If I can mark that out or step it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it stops 30 feet in front of that tree. I have it rigged as an inverted L off of that tree coming from the ground up and over over our heads this way um yeah i can't wait till the band conditions turn around that way i can test it out uh but i wanted to keep you updated uh when i do the radials um i'll actually take pictures of it yeah when i and then i'll let you see what it's like once i pull everything back through the attic um yeah I gotta go get a tower and another beam um, and a rotator from Charlotte. It's about four hours away. And I think I'm gonna put that, boom, right here. It's a 30 foot tower. So I'm gonna drop it right here with a beam. The beam's 31 feet, 31 foot elements. The beam is 24 feet I believe and the rotator of course is just a rotator uh, I'm going to make sure that the rotator's got about a 5 or 6 foot pipe on it and that way hopefully I can get over the top of that tree with the beam so I can spin um, the way the camera's facing now directly behind me that way that is almost due east and I am 4 miles off the coast um, of the Atlantic right now so if I could turn the beam due east or you know england is actually like 30 degrees on the azimuth for me uh, but if i could get it 30 degrees which would be not that way and be able to get over the house then i'd probably be able to dx like a champ um, which is truthfully what i want the beam for and the tower for and then off of that i, I want to do another side arm with a 10 foot piece of pole because i have a g5r that i love Everybody I know that's got a G5R rated for 2K, um, tap, loves them. I literally have one laying in my side yard because I don't have anywhere tall enough to put it. Don't have anywhere. I can run it to the backyard to the pine tree back there where I hung my 160, but my God, it's a 200 foot run from the shack. And that's a lot of LMR 400. And I can't even go the short way because of all the concrete and the pool plumbing. I would actually have to go around the house to the front, under the driveway, beside the house, and then to the backyard, or through the attic in the house from that corner all the way back to the other corner past the porch, which would be about 75 feet by itself. So there's no great answer for me getting back there to that back tree. Uh, as much as I'd love to have a G5R 50 or 60 feet in the air set up as an inverted V, good Lord, that would be beautiful. Uh, but if I can get it here on the tower, that would do me. That tower is a tilt over tower. Um, so I'm hoping the hinge point is taller than this here fence. And that way in the event of a storm, being on the, in North Carolina, on the coast of North Carolina, we do have hurricanes. And right now, everything I have, I can drop out of the air pretty quick with a little bit of cordage. And I can coil them up and zip tie them and throw them at the base of the trees um, and just leave them, which is, you know, kind of what you want. But just wanted to give you an update. This is a short one. So again, I'm KQ4 CIA. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, or advice, I love advice. Y'all help me all the time. Every time I ask for it, y'all give it. And I told you in the very first video I posted, I am a new ham. I have now been licensed. I've been licensed six months and four days. I've had my general ticket for five months and like 20 days. Uh, y'all know more than me. Please share it. I need it. I need knowledge and I love it. Uh, so if you see something I'm doing wrong or something that 
I'm doing not the way you would and you know for a fact what you're doing is working well, drop a comment. Let me know. Again, thanks to everybody that likes and comments and does subscribe. The subscriptions help me, help me, um, they help other people see it. Uh, I've made more than one contact with people that have then emailed me and asked questions. And I don't know why I'm the person that they're asking questions with because I feel like I have a lot of questions myself. But I've helped a couple people and it's because of this channel. Um, so I appreciate that. And I appreciate having the platform to be able to help. Um, so if y'all need something from me, my info's good in QRZ, drop me a line.